What is up gamers? Here we are with another episode of No Longer Home and um, we're continuing the story. So let's get in back. Let's get back in the... Uh, yes, you know what I mean. Oh my gosh. It just got dark. So we just finished the party. Alright, better get some shut eye. My goodness, my place is such a mess. I managed to snag this bed from my last place as well as a few other things. It was nice of our landlord to just let us have it. Ooh. It's wild to me to be at this point in my life where I own all this furniture. Uh, I feel like it cares so much. Uh, I feel like it cares so much. I, I don't know. I, I, I keep the same furniture, but you could have a quest of finding yourself with the same furniture. I mean, it's no big deal. They'll follow me no matter where I go. I just hope I can fit it all in my bedroom. <laughs> um, I guess you have a big room back in your parents' house, so this should fit, you know? I don't think there's anything here that actually belongs to me. Well, um, I'll, I'll take my router. I'll take my router. Need to remember to cancel the broadband earlier this time. I don't want to get to serve another unnecessary bill like last time. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have not gotten. Uh, yeah. I'm sure the electric bill wouldn't have been so as much if I hadn't. Both of them died on me eventually anyway. Even the pricier one. Uh, it's embarrassing. Having to borrow money from my brother like that. Ooh, I like to build build a blanket part. Let's do that. Oh, remember the time when you were like a kid? Like you build this blanket fort and stuff? This blanket fort sucks. <laughs> what part of this even resembles a fort? Uh, I didn't see anyone else help me while I was arranging it. It's fine, don't worry. Yeah, let's just play a game. I want to play a game. I want to play a game. Imagine if that would come out on screen. What are we playing? Hold on, I think I've already got something loaded up. It's this sort of text parser game. Oh wow, people make those? I used to play... Uh -huh. So, were we playing a classic game here? Yeah. But now it's like cool and punk. <laughs> if you say so. Shall we get started then? I want to play some video games. Hold on, let me just... Uh, yada yada yada. Oh, ooh, we're playing a video game. So is this gonna be a game within a game? So like Gameception or thingy? Game Inception thingy? Among the leaves, you have been traveling through the forest for almost an hour now, and you have lost all sense of direction. You are starting to give up hope of ever finding a place to stay. Sounds like real life. Oh! Wait! What the heck is happening? Are we like in the game? Cause that's gonna be weird. You look down on the other compass as if it might help you and consider your next direction. Oh, okay, so yes, we are in a game inception. We are playing a game within the game. Uh, no, let's, let's just keep getting going straight. Type something on the keyboard. The tree seems to shift as they walk as you walk by them, clearing a different path from what was initially there. A few moments pass by. In the distance, you can hear the faint sound of a telephone ringing off in another direction. Two lights catch your eye, perhaps from the windows of a cabin? Um... Oh my god. Uh... Okay, let's answer the phone. Keep it phone, sounds good. Type something into the keyboard. You head towards the source of the ringing. The trees allow you passage. Hmm. Wait, this is not supposed to be a horror game, right? We're not playing a horror game here, right? Don't trick me now, game. By the time you reach the phone, the ringing has already stopped. The phone booth in front of you, completely taken over by plants, appears to have not been used in years. Oh, it's AO! Looks kind of like the phone booth by my house back in Japan, I mean. I always pass it on the way to the convenience store. Oh, I miss the 24 hour convenience stores. Do people even pay use payphones anymore? I think so. Every so often I see someone use one. Wild. Okay, what now? 
Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, why do we need to check the phone if it works? It, well, it was ringing, right? So let it, it deserves to be checked. It deserves to be checked. You pick up the receiver. Silence. Oh, it's not working. Let's head somewhere else. Why is this getting creepy now? Should I have just taken the cabin in the woods direction in this game? You keep walking, but every step feels just the same as last. Eventually, the foliage shifts, spitting into two paths. The left heading down towards what you assume to be a cave. The right, snaking up toward what appears to be a street. Oh man, if I were the one in this situation, I would just go head to the street because I want to go home. <laughs> Let's make an exception here. Let's go to the cave. Aren't we, supposed to, are we, aren't we supposed to find somewhere to stay? I don't know if we can just live in a cave? Sure we can! Cave time! Cave time! I don't know if this is a good idea. Why, 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 am, I do, why am I going to cave? That's on me now. Huh? Okay, not your ordinary cave. It has an elevator. Upon reaching the cave, you notice an elevator leading all the way down to the lower depths. Yes, press the button. You press the elevator button and the elevator door slides open. Eh? I don't know if I'm gonna regret this, gamers. I maybe should have just taken the path to the street. Eventually, the mechanisms grind to a halt and the doors slide open once more. Uh, what is this? You walk down a short corridor into an open door on your right. As you walk down some stairs, as you notice a woman. Oh! <gasps> yeah, let's talk to the woman. Wait, can, can we talk to her? Oh, yeah, uh, should be able to. Hold on. Eh? What are you doing here, lady? You approach the woman, but she interjects before you get the chance to speak. I'm sorry, but there's no vacancies. What? You're looking for a place to stay, right? I'm afraid all the classrooms are taken. Ah, typical, ain't it? Wait, classrooms? Sorry, this is a school? Sixth form. Uh, where do you think we were? What is happening here? Uh, I have, uh... Oh my gosh. I don't know, sure a ton of vents though. I have no idea. Yeah, it does look like a vent. I have no idea. I came here through that. What are all the vents for? Uh, these are all vents for the school's air conditioning. You came here through the forest, right? But most people who come through the forest are looking for a place to stay. Uh, there was a cave and a lift. I don't... So, they're renting out the classrooms? I thought so. Like I said, most people who come through the forest are looking for a place to stay. And yeah, they're letting. Only during summer though. Uh, they're still used as classes the rest of the year. That... that hardly seems worth it. True. So, you, who can afford to rent a proper place these days if you get a lot of drifters? Uh, sure. Tell me about it. I've been looking for a place to stay while I study. Been there, I mean, uh, take a look around. Wait, sorry, uh, you live here? That I do. Well, at least, Priyari Road wasn't this bad. What are you studying? Uh, music? Music? Sorry, yeah, I was studying a couple of years ago, but I want to do more. Um, interactive stuff and things? Alright. You like theater? Personally, I do. Um... Yeah, sure. My dad told me. Uh, my dad, my my dad told me he had to play a th tree once. <laughs> wow, just standing there. I played one of the animals in the nativity play. The ass. You're the ass. You're the ass, lady. Who asked you? Well, I used to play for the school band for theater productions. I didn't really get on with people though. Don't blame you. <laughs> Listen. I don't know if Miguel... What? Right, so there's this old church. 
It's a gallery now, exhibits interactive art pieces. It's called the Old Church. You can get to it by playing the piano in the forest. When? Anyway, the guy who runs it is this really sweet old dude called Miguel. He used to have a residency program. Might still do, but I don't think he has had any in a while. Sounds kind of lonely. Yeah, truth is, I think he needs some company. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, actually, you know what? Esther, Esther pulls a letter out from beneath a plant pot and inspects it. Oh, do you want me to deliver that for you? You wouldn't mind? Not at all. At least it's the things I could do, since you're helping me out. I'm Esther, by the way. Oh, I'm Sophie. Thanks, Sophie. Esther hands the letter over to you. You will. You will give it... Uh, I'm sorry. You, 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 you will, you will give it to him, won't you? Of course, it's no trouble. Thanks, and good luck with the residency. Thanks, good luck with... See you around, Sophie. You make your way back to the elevator and send back up to the force. Well, we thought wrong, gamers. It was not a creepy cave. It was indeed a, an underground classroom right in the middle of the forest. What is going on in this game? What kind of game am I playing within the game? What the heck is this? Walking back to the forest, you get the sense that it is somehow guiding you. The trees continue to shift around you. Everything looks the same but feels different. It's difficult to tell in the forest, but it feels like it's getting late. Ah, uh, here's the piano in the forest. Finally, you reach a small clearing with a piano in the middle. I guess we'll give it a go then. We haven't really got any other options. Tired and lazily pour a random sequence through keys. Hey! What is this? Oh, it's Miguel, I guess. Hello, Miguel. Are you Miguel? Better not be a monster, Miguel. A corridor builds up around you. You walk down to reach a set of stairs. From up the stairs, you can hear a voice gently talking to itself. <clears throat> um, Miguel? Oh! You startled me, dear. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just that I haven't had any people come around here some time. I don't have any exhibitions on. What brings you here? Uh, let's give the letter first. Actually, Esther sent me your way. She said you offer residencies. Esther? Oh, who? Uh, oh, um, she wanted you to have this. You give the letter to Miguel. He scans through the letter, smiles, and folds it into his pocket. Ah, oh, yes. I wish you said. Never mind. Ah, oh, yes. Esther, how is she? Um, okay, I guess. Oh, yes. Uh, she must be working in theater by now. She used to be a resident artist here. A good one, too. I haven't had a resident here in a while. Actually, I suppose that's why she sent you? Yeah, I'll be starting my degree in a few mo months, and I need somewhere to stay. Well, since it's Esther who sent you, you'll need to write an application, but I'm sure we can figure out something. Hmm. Only thing is, I had to sell off the studio spaces, once I couldn't secure funding for this place anymore. Well, there is this one place, but there's not a lot of room and it's a bit, uh, dingy. Yeah, uh, yeah, do we beggars can't be choosers. This is what we need. I'm sure I can manage. I can make anywhere feel like home. In that case, welcome to the old church. Uh, oh geez, is that really that time? I need to head home, but you should stay the night. Can't you ha can't you, uh, can't have you wandering about the forest this late at night? We'll pick up to this tomorrow, though bright and early. Should be able to find the old camper bed. Thank you, Miguel. You're such a dear. Wait, where did Bo go? You didn't notice? They were looking pretty peaky. Yeah, they left a little while back. I think they went to bed. So we're continuing to... Wait, Bo in the game or like Bo in real life? So we're changing settings again. Oh, we're back in the real world. Okay. 
it's only you playing now? Or is this my new place? Or wait, what? I, I don't understand anymore. What's going on here? Where are my friends? And this is Ao right now, right? Ao, are you drunk? Better not be drinking a lot. Ao, Ao. Uh, let's see what's in here. Could we actually get in? I don't really feel like going outside. I want to spend more time here. All the time we have left, at least. Oh, all right. Um, whoa, is a door here? Who lives here? Ah, I shouldn't have entered. What the hell is this? What the hell are you? Who the frick? Oi! What the? Oh, hey, didn't know you were still here. What the? Thought you might have moved out already. Who the hell is this? Gee. Will you ever learn to knock? You know as well as I do. I'm here as long as you are. What the hell? What the? There's been a lot of my mind lately, alright? Give me a break for once. Uh, no, I wanna know baseball. No, uh, sure. So who's winning? We are. No. <laughs> now, would you be very kind and leave me alone, please? Geez, there's really no need for that kind of that sass. It's not sass. You just refuse to respect my boundaries. Says you, freeloader. <clears throat> Let's be honest. You don't want me here, and I don't want you here. Yet here we are now. Now. Get out. Alright, fine. Just wanted to let you know we're moving out soon. Like it or not, I'm going whenever, wherever you are going. Make peace with it and leave me alone. I just, I'm, I'm allowed, I'm allowed to be worried about you, aren't I? You can cut the act. I know you don't actually care. We can't even love ourselves. You think we're capable of loving others? Don't make me laugh. Hey, uh, um, I, that's not true at all. You say that, but you know I know you better than anyone, right? You burden me my whole life. How many people have you hurt simply by existing? Ooh. Oh, you are a very terrible demon. Blaming all your problems on people. You think it's okay just because you are sad? I I'm... What do you have to say for yourself? Welcome to the AO pity party. No one cares. What the? I can't deal with you anymore. You get out. Uh, who the hell is this in the first place? Who the heck is this? Why do we have a monster in our... I'm just so confused now. Sorry I disappeared. I wasn't feeling too well. Aw, oh, let's be sweet. Let's be, that's okay. Hope you're doing okay. A bit too much to drink, I think. Mixing your drinks probably didn't help. Yeah, I guess I was excited to see everyone and overdid it. Are you coming to bed? Yeah, let's go. I'm not surprised. It's been a long night. A long day! Okay, get to bed. You have been seeing a lot of things that are not of this world. I'm so confused what the monster is all about. Now get to bed! Oh, why you look so sad? Why are you so sad? It was good to see everyone before we move out. Yeah, I hope we can do another get together before I head back and all. Aww. Yeah, let's go visit Bo. I mean Ao when we have the money. I don't want to come back there, but I can't wait to show you around. Take you to a baseball game, eat some real food, go visit my family in the south. I'm sure it'll be great. I'm sure it'll be great. Why am I mixing my words? I'm sure you'll be a great guy. And besides, it'll be a good. F it'll be good for me to get out of London too. I'm starting to feel choked by the city. Something's moving here, gamers. I mean, but wasn't that the plan? I'd find a way to come back here, and we'd live together again. Well, sure, but I didn't realize it had to be in London. I mean, um, but that's different, isn't it? I don't know. Tokyo, London, it's all the same problem. Different cultures, the same problems. Oh, you fell asleep. Yes, I'll get some rest too. It must be pretty late in, in the AM now. Thanks for chatting, Bo. Alright, so wiki wiki for Bo, right? And um, I've, I've cut some of the scenes here because um, 
the scene when when AU went to bed, it was just uh, <laughs> the conversation was quite long, and I know I'm gonna bore you out if I put that in. So I'm gonna I cut that part, and they were just basically talking about life. So I cut that part. That also means it leaves excitement to you guys. So just a bunch of conversation and some choices that you need to choose. And yeah, this game is still fun. I'm so interested on in what's gonna happen next. Basically, it's life. It's it's a game of growing up, adulting, and and all. So thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna end the game here. If you haven't subscribed, but go ahead and subscribe. More RPG games, RPG games coming in the future. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.